Ryan Garcia dropped a bombshell on the internet with his borderline racist comments. I mean, taking illegal drugs before a fight is one thing, but saying the N-word live not once, not twice, but multiple times is not something you'd expect from a superstar like Ryan Garcia. Now that is beyond low. Even for Ryan, the pros in the entire fight community are absolutely losing it over Garcia's latest antics, demanding immediate and firm action. This guy's behavior has crossed the line, and we can't let him steal the spotlight again. Imagine the damage it would do to the sport's reputation. This isn't just about one fighter. It's about the integrity of boxing as a whole. But the drama didn't end there. Right after the comments blew up, Ryan posted a new video. Everyone expected an apology, but what they got left them speechless. And guess what? I'm not apologizing for nothing. You, gonna, you ain't gonna catch me apologizing for nothing. The last time I apologized was never. So, y'all could come and try to touch me all y'all want. Shoot me if you want. I don't give a fuck. Ryan disrespected a whole community. This controversy has attracted brutal reactions from the likes of Floyd Mayweather, Bill Haney, and Mike Tyson. I mean, the guy is talking about joining the KKK and digging up George Floyd. If that's not calling for an immediate beatdown, then I don't know what is. Buckle up, because the drama is about to hit a whole new level, and you won't want to miss a second of it. Let's look at what boxing pros are saying without wasting any more time. Even Devin Haney crossed paths with Ryan Garcia in public to confront him. But according to Ryan, Haney was all bark and no bite. Yo, I just ran into Haney right now. We're going straight to Orange County. Haney, the guy that I beat up with a thousand left hooks, he literally looked at me, and you know what I told him face to face? As I passed him, I said, keep jabbing, champ. Yes or no? Yeah. For sure. And you know what's hilarious about it? He was like, uh, they want to hit the, you know, they, they want to hit the switch, like we can fight, blah, blah, blah. Nothing happened. Bro, you guys are weenies. No surprise Haney didn't step up to confront the guy who knocked him down. Not once, not twice, but three times in the ring. But hey, Bill Haney wasn't backing down from the controversy. The tension heated up even more when Devin Haney's old man fired back at Garcia's comments. He straight up called on Garcia to seek help. I'm definitely not happy to see the kid crashing out. Uh, that team, you know what I mean? Uh, I wish them well, but there's no place for that kind of talk, you know what I mean? And particularly, and directed, you know, in the way that it's being directed, you know? Um, you know, it's just no, it's just no, it's just no place for it. You know? uh, I think that he should get help, you know what I mean? And um, that's it, I don't believe in kicking a man while they're down, while they're down. Um, but he definitely should get help and the people around him should step up and be held accountable and, and, and speak loud and be just as, you know, happy that they can be there for um, Ryan during these kind of times. This is the time that you see what kind of what kind of team you got. Ryan really needs some serious help. First, there was the whole cheating controversy. Then things took a downturn as his mother fell ill and now he's using the N-word like it's nothing. This is gonna hurt Ryan's career in ways he can't even imagine yet. Former pro boxer Sean Porter had a rather shocking reaction. He empathized with Ryan over his mental issues. Yep, that's right. All right, Sean, uh, gotta ask you, man, just, uh, I know you were asked before, just Ryan Garcia, yeah. Yeah. What's, what's your reaction? You know, listen, man, at the end of the day, this is the topic of discussion. This is what's going on in the boxing world right now. And so, you know, when you are who I am, who a lot of the people are, who speak for boxing for the sake of words, this, you gotta expect these kind of questions, you know? Um, and, I, and I'll just hit the nail on the head. It didn't offend me. It made me feel very sad for him to, to hear him speaking the way that he was speaking. Um, and you even hear him saying he wasn't going to uh, regret it. And then, you know, again, to see him soliciting an, an apology. The apology was real. Hmm. Um, Gervonta Tank Davis coach Kenny Ellis didn't hold back when reacting to this controversy. 
In a no-nonsense statement, Ellis made it clear that Tank has zero interest in a rematch with Ryan Garcia. According to Ellis, giving a guy like Garcia another shot is simply off the table. I mean, you can't blame him, can you? The last thing you want is to give Ryan a bigger platform. And he, and he'd be around George Floyd's brother and don't even know it. He don't even know it. And that's how people get hurt. Not that George Floyd's brother would hurt him, but it's other people out here in the street that we, that's friends with people and related to people, and you don't even know it. You talking about people. You might be somewhere sitting down chilling. Somebody come, <laughs> and, you know? You can't fuck with people, man. He be around George Floyd's brother in his boxing shit and don't even know who he is. But he running his mouth. Ryan Garcia hopped on Keyshawn Davis's Instagram live stream to say hello. And let's just say Keyshawn made his stance clear on this hot topic. Hey, hey Ryan. You do the boom, boom, step in. Ryan. But you got to make me actually... I appreciate that, but that up, the shit like you been this, doing, bro, I can't stand for it, bro. I, he won't do it. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I said, T.O. I don't fuck with that well, shit you been I, doing, I, I bro. I, I, I understand all that mental health shit, but you been on some whole other shit, Ryan. Nigga up here right now. Former NBA player Steven Jackson fired up at Ryan, and let's just say he did not leave anything behind. And guess what? I'm not apologizing for nothing. You, gonna, you ain't gonna catch me apologizing for nothing. The last time I apologized was never. So, y'all could come and try to touch me all y'all want. Shoot me if you want. I don't give a fuck. Somebody please touch me. Untouched. Won't be touched. Nothing's gonna happen. You guys are weird. And guess what? I love everyone. That's a crazy thing. I love everyone. I love black people. I love Muslims. I love everyone, bro. Look, look what they just. Oscar De La Hoya, CEO of Golden Boy Promotions, had some interesting insights to share after working closely with Ryan Garcia for so long. First of all, we at Golden Boy, including myself, we don't condone any, you know, racism and any type of, it's, it's just wrong. It's wrong and uh, it's, it's not good what he said and, um, you know, we strongly feel that I just heard Ryan saying that he's going into rehab. Um, it's, it's a step in the right direction for him personally. But yeah, we at Golden Boy and I've spoken to my partner Bernard Hopkins and we just don't condone that. It's, it's, it's wrong. I don't know if it's his drinking. I don't know if it's him doing mushrooms and drugs and this. But when you listen, I listened to a video and he was slurring and this. So he's in a bad, bad place right now. Now that's right, Ryan did release footage saying he's going to rehab. Now that still doesn't cut it for the mess he made, but it's still a necessary first step. I want to apologize um, to the black community, uh, apologize to the Muslim community, uh, basically for, you know, the, 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 you know, just, the, you know, my language and my vocabulary, obviously I have a big responsibility as a famous athlete and um, I was very under the influence and obviously to I'm going through a lot is what I say but I have no excuse I'm just saying like um, I'm sorry to all my black friends and families that are hurt and my Muslim families that are hurt I just want to be a positive influence now like I said I'm headed to rehab and I'm gonna make a real change in my heart and um, like I said all I can do is be better I acknowledge that I definitely shouldn't have said those stupid sh all I could do is say sorry, bro. I, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Like, actions speak louder than words. It's about time the apology starts entering the conversation, even though Ryan made it clear on camera that he's not backing down or apologizing for anything. But hey, if he wants to keep stepping into the ring and raking in those big bucks, 
He's got to handle the drama the right way. It's not just about throwing punches anymore. It's about owning up and earning respect in and out of the ring. Let's take a look at what the fans are saying about Garcia's controversial comments. One of the fans tweeted this on X. Kid had clear drinking problems and will ship his whole career down the drain. One fan had a message for Daz in boxing. He stated, You guys are actually going to let this guy say this and then allow him to continue boxing on your platform? That's a legitimate question. How can they let a guy like this fight on a massive stage without causing an uproar? We're talking about millions of fans ready to blow up. But here's the twist. Ryan Garcia is a pay-per-view king. He's the one filling seats and raking in cash. Dazen's stuck between a rock and a hard place. Do they chase the money or dodge the controversy? This call could make or break the future of their events. If Ryan wants any chance at a comeback, the first step has to be deleting Twitter. It's where we see his wild side and it's where he used the N-word in the first place. He has upset millions of people worldwide. Things aren't looking too good for The Flash. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.